Good evening, replay viewers. This is Dr. George Cosmes and live viewers. Hey, Ash, thanks for joining today. Just working on my, my program. This is actually one of my slides in my doctor's program. I have to give a little jocularity from time to time. Hey, figure skater. Hey, open 350. Oh, well, it's pen 350. Hey, guys. Hey, Mary, thank you for joining and thank you for inviting your followers. Hey, Amy. No, you don't make me upset. It, we were just working on some bugs. I have to talk about a new team member. She is phenomenal. Hey. Hey, Lynn. Thank you guys so much for on board and sharing with me. Let's, uh, so I haven't been, I haven't been tweeting out my scope, so I'm going to talk about, so uh, sorry about that. And I'm a little bit early, uh, but eight o'clock on, on, on most days I don't have to be in the office, which I'm only in the office two days a week late. So, hey guys. Hey Lynn, thanks for sharing with your followers. I'm, uh, I'm Dr. George Cosmes, for, for those of you that are new. I was practicing functional medicine back when it was considered really, uh, you know, controversial and now it's commonplace. I've been in practice over 20 years. I teach uh, uh, doctors in the state of California information on diabetes and ways to apply it in their practice and in their lives, all research-based. Everything is research-based that I do. I have a weight loss program, a, a lean body program, 12 week, and I have a life without diabetes program that's serving about 13,000 people. Um, and I do these scopes to give you guys, hey Jason, reasonable information to follow because there's so much uh, inaccurate, unqualified information out there that can really confuse you guys and leave you wanting. Cuba, Cuba, Cabano. Thank you guys. <laughs> thank, thank you for the love. Thank you for the hearts. You guys hearing me okay? I'm, I've got this mic that I'm using tonight. I'm just trying to give you guys a better audio uh, of me as, as I possibly can. But, uh, you know, the more I get into this work, <laughs> thank, you for the, thank you for the kisses. Thank you, thank you. Um, the more I get into this work, Andrea from Guam. No, Andrea is actually here in California. Let me talk about her. So uh, I've got two team members now that are helping with my program. I've got one gentleman in, in, in the other East Coast. And uh, thank you. Andrea just came on board with me to help me sort out uh, my communication. So uh, for you guys that are on my program, you should have gotten your emails tonight. Um, and then from here on, they'll just get better and better and better as far as ease of use and everything. But at any time, uh, if there's ever any problems, the buck stops with me and uh, we'll get it resolved. She's great. Uh, I think we're going to work out fine. Hopefully she's on the scope tonight uh, to get to kind of know a little about what I do. And because uh, I think with, whenever we do something and we work with other people, it's important that they're behind what we're doing or at least... Um, you know, it's not just a job. I, I, I don't want that. I want people to know that we're actually trying to change lives. And Oh, there she is. You guys uh, follow her. I think she's new to Periscope, but uh, what, a, what a sharp cookie. Uh, I'm, I'm fortunate she's, uh, she's sticking with me because <laughs> I can hear her. Did you ever work with someone or, or do something and, and they laugh at you like you're so, um, like what you do is like kind of like, I can't believe you do that. Well, she does that, but that's okay. I, I, she's uh, very kind and gracious to me and, and hopefully I can... Uh, I cannot frustrate her too much, but uh, I'm the content person, but I need to, I need to know, uh, learn this other stuff as well. So anyway, today we're going to talk about, you know, everyone I, I know is either trying to get in shape. I met with uh, uh, Spam, the other half of Rice and Spam tonight. We had some, I took him to a place that I worked out. We spent, spent time with my daughter, we went to lunch and, you know, he had a real weight problem. And a lot of people have weight problems. They think working out is the answer. I did, Amy, I did. We're on top of that. We're on top of that. You're my first follower. Wow, Pen350 is my first follower. Holy smokes. Um, but it's not about exercise. And every time I do this, uh, I get at least one or two emails. Oh, I can't believe you're putting down exercise. You look like you work out. But I'm telling you guys, being in my 50s now, it's not, it's not the main focus. Because remember, for those of you that are following my scopes, um, diabetes, uh, excuse me, exercise is a form of what? Thank you. Exercise is a form of what? What is that? Come on. I want to quiz you right off the bat here. Come on, you, 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 you guys have been following me for a few weeks. You should know this. Stress is close. Controlled trauma. That's absolutely right, Amy. So when we exercise, that's right, we're inducing trauma on our bodies. And the idea is we build up based on the trauma. It's pretty simple physiology, and it, it works. Walking is a form of trauma. Uh, all of it, your body kind of builds up. Well, 
Before you can do that, you have to know two things. And we're going to talk about three of them tonight, the keys to fat loss. So what's the first key to fat loss that we have to know? We have to know our what? LBM. What is LBM? This is key. T telling you, I've been at this 30 years. It's, 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 I'm giving you guys like the pearls right here. I'm telling you, if you really want to get in shape, lean body, that's right. I think it's not that bad. It depends on what you're doing. Lean body mass, that's right, lean body mass. So again, it's not about this is bad or this is good. I'm trying to give you guys the maximum. Babble on Brooke with her nerve and spine issues. Yeah, because it's not a traumatic issue. It's all about getting, getting healthy. That's right. So lean body hydration, that's Amy. She's one of, my, uh, one of the heaviest people that started with me and she's making phenomenal gains. So that's right. You have to know what your lean body mass is. If you don't know that number, it's kind of like going shopping without a budget. What's the point? Or, or if you're going to remodel your house, you have to set a budget. You have to know what your budget is. You have to know what your body mass is. And then everything that I do in my programs, whether it's a Life Without Diabetes program, more specifically though, it's the Lean Body, uh, lean body program is designed on, based on your lean body mass. That's a crucial number. And I give you the calculations in my first week and I keep giving them to you. Even in your fifth week, you're 134 pounds, okay. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, that's right. So once you know your lean body mass, then you can begin to feed that lean body. New thing napping now, Doc. He's asking, I, I don't know what that, that means. Um, but that's the number. So lean body mass, number one. Exercise, if I were to put exercise in a list of five things, it's maybe number five or six. Yeah. Emotions are good, but don't let me or anyone else influence your emotions. Emotions actually is in the top three in my five keys. It's in the top three. So one is what? Know your lean body mass. This is the keys for fat metabolism. Number two, make sure if you do do exercise, you stay within your breath. You don't get caught chasing your breath because it's not oxygen is not the problem. That's a misnomer. That's an if someone says, oh, you can't, don't get enough oxygen, 99% of the time that's inaccurate. What your body is trying to do is get rid of CO2. Stay within your breath. That's absolutely right. So when you stay within your breath, your body is not in panic mode. So if it's possible, and I'll give you the third step that's going to make this possible, your body can burn fat for fuel. I know, Amy, I know. Forget about that. So you want to stay within your breath. So the, the general rule is you can wear the, the, the chest, you know, the, the things that go around your chest and you check your pulse and you can do your carotid pulse and, and, and all these beats. Ah, who's going to do that consistently? If you can carry on a reasonable conversation while you're exercising, you're within your breath. That's a real general rule that's accurate more times than not. So sometimes you'll, I'll take you on my bike ride and you'll hear me riding and you'll hear me talking. That's normal breath. You know, you can have fancy gadgets. I, I, I think I have three of those, you know, the watches that go around your chest. Sometimes I have one watch with one band. I, I, I must have spent five, 600 bucks on that gear. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm saying when you have a, a busy life and you have, you know, I have a child and, and right now I'm, I'm, you know, I'm on my own with my daughter. Uh, you can't, it just, it, it's too much to think about. But if you just know, hey, I just need to keep my breath. So you can do all kind of training keeping your breath. You don't have to say, I'm going to do weight training now and then I'll go do aerobics. You can do both at the same time. I'm working on a program to present that early next year and we'll do that. Bear, bear with me. <laughs> so CrossFit is probably not best for, well, what are we trying to accomplish? When we traumatize our body jumping down on boxes and flipping over tires, there's a lot better ways to get lean. What would you recommend doing to lose weight and build muscle? My lean body program. Absolutely. Yeah, Fitbit. Things that kind of track you, but when you start trying to, 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 to stay within that range, just use your, use your breath as, a, as your kind of governor. It's, a pretty, it's pretty accurate. And the whole goal is the more consistent you can be, the better. I mean, imagine, oh, I can't go to the gym today because I forgot my heart monitor. Or, uh, but see, with, with what, what I'm teaching you, hey, so if there's, my, there's another hero. Follow this guy. He, he changed his whole body in eight weeks. Unbelievable. Use your body as an indicator. That's right. Use your breath as an indicator. So breath is the breath. Now, it's, it's, what's interesting is if you're really out of cardiovascular shape, you'll get into breath quick. So then you fall, you fall back. But as you get healthier, 
your breath will keep you. So your pulse is going to change. Your breath is the key. I mean, after, again, 30 years of doing this, 20 years being licensed to do it, uh, this makes the most sense consistently. And again, I'm looking to help you guys be consistent, not super technical. It sounds good on paper. It sounds good when you get the package and you open these gadgets up. I mean, my, my gadgets are the, the, the that I have on my website, just what, two or three of them. The bioimpedance handle, the bioimpedance scale, and exercise bands. I mean, if, if done properly, you can do a lot with those three as far as exercise goes. So number one is know your lean body mass. Number two, stay within your breath when you exercise. Just stay within your breath. If you're talking and you have to do that, you have to taper back a little bit. Asif did that in one of his scopes. So again, it's a, it's a training issue. Just And you can do it whether you're working out with weights or Pilates or or I, I love Pilates, uh, you know, uh, Yingar yoga. It doesn't matter the medium. It just matters that it's low impact and you stay within your breath. Oh my, yeah, I told you. I told you guys it's going to get better every week. Uh, third thing. This is kind of a few things in the one, but this is key. I see a lot of this stuff. Key, get into ketosis in three hours and all this business. You know, I have a problem with that for a number of reasons, but here's what you can do. Physiologically, I have some problems with that. I have some deep questions with that, but here's what you can do. If anybody's on my scope right now that, that's into this, uh, you know, the three hour get into ketosis, please DM me. I, I want to know some factual, factual data. Please, I have some questions. You can, Ace, if you can keep it there, but your breath, in my humble opinion, is more accurate. Because your heart rate is going to change. As you get more fit, your heart, your, your heart elevation is going to be able to tolerate more, uh, more of an elevation when you exercise. And it's going to be harder to get into that range. That's why, as a general rule, again, this is a general rule, the lower your heart rate resting, the healthier you are. I think I, I watched an interview of uh, Lance Armstrong. He had a resting heart rate of like 34 beats a minute. I mean, that's just phenomenal. Doc, we are getting static. Sorry. Oh, for my headphones? Is that any better? I'll I can take these off. Is that better? Thank you. Thank you. How's that? Okay. Great, great, great. So, yeah. So, I mean, when I saw Lance Armstrong at 34 beats a minute, I was impressed. I think some uh, free divers that dive really deep, they get their heartbeat down like in the teens, like 19, 16. That's phenomenal. Oh, thanks. And these must be this must be going the way of the dodo bird. So again, heart rate is is important. I'm not saying it's not. I like data, but when it comes to exercise, you're going to change. I know my cardiovascular fitness has gone. I mean, it's probably in the top three times in my life I've been this cardiovascularly fit, and it's hard for me to get in this breath range. But I just keep pushing. I just keep pushing. Yeah. See, so you've lost your you dropped your heart rate twenty percent. So that's resting heart rate. So as a general rule, the lower your resting heart rate, the more efficient your cardiovascular system is. That's a pretty accurate statement. I don't think any physiologist would have a problem with that statement. There's always, always genetic variance. But as a general rule, 98% of the time, that's accurate. So the third, the third key thing that's important, in order for your body to take the fat that's around our waist, around under our chin or wherever, and burn it as fuel, what is the best BP? It depends on your, it depends on your lean body mass. Yeah, that's right. That's the key. <clears throat> that that's right. See, see, you guys know, you guys know facts that are crucial. BMI, ah, eh, height to weight ratio, ah, eh, it's not accurate. It's it's too it's too arbitrary. So when you see people like Asif and Trish and, and Amy, these guys have been in my program for several weeks. They're not only seeing physical change in their bodies, but physiological changes in their lab work and their and their blood tests and their heart rate. That's what it's all about. Because there's certain chemicals and certain nutrients that can change blood chemistry within 24 hours. But are we, is the goal to change numbers or is the goal to get you healthy? It's not always the same street. My father, I, I lost my father. The reason I'm so adamant about this work, I lost my father at 56 from complications of diabetes. He just collapsed. And for the previous 10 years, he had normal laboratory findings. But they were all controlled through meds. I think he was on about nine different meds. My Uncle Steve and Uncle John, the same thing. So synthetically controlled numbers does not associate you with improving your health. The research doesn't support that. And again, I teach this 
to, to doctors here in the state. I'm board certified to teach it and it's all research based. And I just try to talk to them as simply as I, I am today. And you know, they're just as, some of them are just as all as you guys. So don't think you guys are pretty smart. You love to, I mean, it's just phenomenal. So these principles that people are on my program that I'm giving you guys now who, who aren't. So the third thing, <laughs> no, stay on me. Here's the third thing. In order for your body to burn fat for fuel, there needs to be three things, uh, if it's, there needs to be three things present. It needs to be water. Water is the acidic medium of the body. Yes, wa water is a mild acid. It needs to be water. There needs to be oxygen and uh, aerobic activity. Aerobic means aero is, is I think it's Latin for, for oxygen, aerobic activity. Okay. The third thing is a medium chain fat. So there's short chain, medium chain, and long chain fats. So the medium chain is what the body, I'm going to answer, hold on to your questions. Let me, let me finish my thought. <laughs> I don't want to answer these, but I get in this role. So I think of these pictures in my mind, so I have to get them out. So when your body goes to burn fat for fuel, it looks for a medium chain fat, it looks for water, and it looks for oxygen. If any one of those elements isn't present when your body has the ability to burn fat, it'll stop. And if it needs energy, it'll break down muscle tissue because it needs energy right now or and or glucose. But the idea is to start running down this fat pathway and we begin to burn the body. That's why people on my program uh, are losing such drastic weight initially because it's not dieting. It's just they're adding these MCTs and these principles that I'm giving you. And, you know, even me, I, I took I went to the gym today. I'm 171. I think I was 183 when I started. And my goal is not to lose any weight. Thank you. And I put all these on the yeah, AAs. Thank you so much. So that's the three things. Let me recap them really quick. To burn fat for fuel or the three keys to, to fat loss. It's not exercise. It is not. Trust me. Look at you folks who've been exercising for a long time. You guys, most of you are stuck. Right? Maybe your weight drops two or three pounds and then you go out one week and it's back up. And you're wasting all this time and usually it's you know money for gym memberships and all this. I'm not saying it's not bad. I'm saying you have to get your foundations first. And Regardless of what exercise you do, the goal is you want to look what? You want to look better in your clothes, and the key to do that is to drop your body fat. I don't care what exercise you do. It doesn't matter. Thank you so much, Lynn, for posting that. I'll, I'll talk about thank you so much. So <clears throat> you do what? You get your lean body mass. On my website, I got the cheap little handheld unit. It works because it sends a current through your body, it measures resistance, it does all these cool calculations, and gives you a percentage number. Now, if you get that unit and you don't reg register a number, your body fat's probably over 40%. And I have some people in my program that they don't register and they're into like their fifth week. That's okay. They're, so they're probably pushing 50%. So just imagine someone 300 pounds, but their lean body mass is 150 pounds. They're in trouble and we're helping them reasonably. So <clears throat> what I recommend everyone that's on my program, take the materials to your primary care. It's all reasonable. I've never had one doc in the... 15 years I've been doing this, ever think I was being outlandish, ever. You know, cost is like less than 30 bucks. It's a handheld job. And what you do is you take it every day for 10 days, throw out the high number, throw out the low number, and average the other eight. And that'll give you, yeah, that'll give you, well, well good. At least, remember, the first thing to doing anything is becoming self-aware. We become aware. And once we become aware, then we can move forward. So I'm here to make you aware, but give you some tools to do something about it. Yeah, these people that are giving advice on my scope, guys, they've been in my program four, five, eight, follow me for eight weeks, you know, not eight weeks, maybe six weeks, seven weeks I've been on scope. And they're doing phenomenal. So again, get your lean body mass. Number two. What was number two? I know number three. What was number two? Hey, thanks for sharing, James. I appreciate it. T-Bone, 1994. Okay, let me go for the first three, then I'll answer your questions. No, I'm not Einstein. Though I did read his autobiography and go to his house. Plus, he went to class with no pants on sometimes. I don't want to be like that. Stay with your breath. That's right. Excellent. Who is that? Forever, forever working. Um, know your lean body mass. Stay within your breast and take the big three. Water, oxygen, and medium chain fat. And if you follow the fundamental principles in my program, 
I can guarantee you, you'll see changes in your blood work within 72 hours, reasonable changes. And if you follow my Life Without Diabetes programs, time frame is the same. They're just structured a little bit differently. If you have, if you have diabetes type one or you're pre-diabetic, if you have a choice, go in the Life Without Diabetes program. It's a little bit less expensive, but it's more tailored to the, to the diabetic. Okay, I answered those. Stay within your breath, excellent. So, okay, now, now, now for questions. Now for questions. So, um, please, if there, if your question is like really long, copy it if you can and repaste. Einstein also had a habit of forgetting. <laughs> no, I'm no Einstein. Trust me, I'm no Einstein. What does what does stay within stay within your breath means? Don't get. Well, I got it, and you start panting. Then you're chasing your breath. You're, you're in anaerobic range and you're burning fat and glucose for fuel. You're not touching your fat stores. Fermented foods. Fermented foods are excellent. You just have to make sure they're not fermented in a, he in a heavy sh sugar base. So most original uh, Korean kimchi are, are not fermented in a sugar base. Intermittent fasting. Well, like today, I got up and I, I had my E-Active and I ha and went and got some juice. I had a juice scope today. I drank, uh, two, I drank two of these this morning. And I'm drinking my third one today. Am I fasting? I still had a couple of meals, but I would say today was probably 40% juice was my diet. Just because on Sundays, for some reason, I gravitate toward that because I'm busy. So during the week, this has got my idea to kind of re, re cleanse, I guess. Don't overdo it. Oxygen is the most important number three. Well, remember, it's not oxygen now that your body's panting about. It's, it's uh, CO2 it's trying to get rid of. So, for example, when someone drowns or they get brain damage from drown drowning, it's not oxygen deprivation in most cases. It's CO2 buildup. It's what's called waste metabolites build up in the brain, and that's what causes the damage. So as we become in better shape, yeah, we become a little bit more efficient at processing oxygen. What the body really becomes efficient at is getting rid of the CO2. That's the key. So see, that's backwards thinking. Uh, you know, people have a wrong assumption. You guys are going to get the straight stuff here. Oh, E-Active. Uh, I'll go over my products in a little bit. Let me answer some more questions, but thank you for my, how much MCT? Uh, it's not MCTs, it's coconut oil because coconut oil contains two acids that MCTs don't by themselves. Now I used to take straight MCT oil from, I think it was from Twin Labs. Coconut oil has uh, ca capric and little lake acid, which they're saying that they're the mitochondria keys or the, the fuel for the mitochondria. How long aerobics? I, 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 say, I say maybe I, I don't work out more than 30 minutes at a time, but I'm on my bike for another 30. So maybe an hour. But my bike is so cruisy. It's so easy. Morning fasted cardio, you know, it just depends on what your goals are. If it's fat metabolism, it just depends on what your lean body mass is. So, yes, so no good coconut oil. Yeah, coconut oil, is, it, it contains those two acids. MC2 oil just contains a medium chain fat. And what they're saying is those two acids found in coconut oil are the key for the real, the real like igniter of fat metabolism. Yeah, I can. I thought that sugar fed the grains in fermentation. It does, but it depends on how much they put, Amy. You know, if they eat, give enough sugar where it ferments and then the sugar is eaten up in the fermentation process, then great. But afterwards, if you look at the carbohydrate, it has 15 grams per serving, then obviously they're, they're you know, it's overladen. So for those of you that don't know, I get, I used to get a lot of products since, I, since people who watch me now know that I'm very factual based and I want you to guys to send me the, uh, good night, Asa. Thank you for joining us. And he's my hero. Um, I'm, I'm data based. So I have a saying now in God, we trust all others send data. So if you want me to review a product, email me the data or send me a sample of it and I'll review it. But understand this, I'm going to be factual with my, with my review. I have no pre, uh, predetermined ideas. No, I don't make my own juice. I'm too lazy. I'm the first one to admit. I wish I did, but there's a place <clears throat> called Creation in Man and right down the beach, about 15, about 10 minutes away, they make a great pressed juice. Well, guess what spurs? Okay, here's, a, here's another quiz. Yeah, sure, you can see the green drink. See all those things in there? Look at that. Kale, cucumber, parsley, celery, spinach, romaine. This is phenomenal. Um, the, okay, here's a question for you. Sorry, if you that I argue you can't promote colon cancer. Nah, you'd have to give me the research on that. <clears throat> um, what is the main, 
how can I put this? It's going to make sense. How does your body generate heat? What, what system is used to generate heat in your body? Thank you, Ben. What's the main system that your body uses to generate heat? No, uh, oxygen is not a system. Oxygen is an element. But, but close though, very close. Come on, just try. No, fat's metabolically inactive. Lungs, no. Close. Fat, no, it's an inactive tissue. Mitochondria, yeah, Tiki, you're getting, free, but more of the system, not the cell. Blood, no. GI, no. Keep, I'll give you a few more guesses. You guys are kind of almost close. Your muscular system, you generate heat by your muscle mass. That's why you'll notice people that are more muscular, they're always hot. Always hot. Heart's a muscle, but it's, it, it's different kind. It's a cardiac muscle. It's a little bit different. So your skeletal muscle is what generates heat because it's metabolically active, right? The only tissue in the body that's more metabolically active than your skeletal muscle is your bone. Your bone is massively uh, metabolic. Yeah, so when you don't feed your lean body mass the appropriate amount of protein, even though you may be 300 pounds, you, ha you have no muscle tissue, so even though you're, you have a lot of insulation, you're not generating any heat. Do you see? So, you know, don't, well, I have a thyroid problem. You're going to have all kinds of problems if you're, not gener if you're not supporting your lean muscle mass. And that's the, the, the main fomenter of my program is to get that number and then start. You breathe out more than you. I don't understand that. <clears throat> Let's keep everything PG. So that's the real key. That's why everyone who has, well, not everyone, I'm going to say, but for most part, everyone who's muscular has a higher heat. I mean, I'm always hot. My wife is cold. My daughter's cold. And I'm like, like sweating. So that's right. That's why lean body mass is so important, regardless of what your diagnosis is. That's why I can, I can teach on diabetes and teach it because I'm not teaching about the disease. That's the end result of a, of a, a chronic condition. I'm, I'm focusing on the host that has the problem. Yeah. And Amy, you know, you're obese, you're working on it, but see, these are all commonplace with what's what's going on with your body. <clears throat> so does that kind of make sense? And then once the wheels start turning and then I give you the keys through the weak implementation of the program, then then you guys become like geniuses yourselves. You're like, ah, oh, I, I totally get it now. It just took me 20 years to learn how to tell it simply. And the fact, my tummy's always cold, yeah. We release more fat through our breath. Um, you can release ketone bodies. If you're in ketosis, you'll have an acetone breath. But the fat's released through energy, energy production. You burn it. I'm obese and hot all the time in oven. Hmm, something else is going on with you. If you have skin problems, especially if you have a hot rash, maybe there's an internal heating problem. Digestively, something's going. I'm worried about the fermented foods I brought from a lady that makes it. Don't know. Well, just worry about the nutrition. Uh, show your two. Oh, show you my two websites. Where's my? Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh, well, hold on. I'm gonna get you some information. Hold on one second. Now, I don't endorse products normally. I actually endorse products on my website that I, you know, they're just another company, but they're a good product, the Now Protein. So about nine weeks ago, a friend of mine, Marty, who actually will be doing a Blab interview together because I'm so impressed with this company, sent me a product. And what he sent me was he sent me this E9 and he sent me, not this big of a can, he sent me a box of this Pro Arginine 9 Plus. And he said, just take it. So I took, I take this one at nighttime one small scoop. This is a this is a six month supply. I take this one at nighttime, and replacing coffee or stimulant drinks, I take a packet of this. It comes in these little cool little packets. I said, okay, Marty, I'll take it. I'll take it. Well, I was 183, and my body fat was around 15 percent. Again, this is this is true. Didn't change anything else in my diets. 15 percent's not bad, but. Now here I am nine weeks later, I went from 183 to 170. I think I, I posted in my Facebook, I was 172, but my body fat went from 15 to like 11.5, 11. So that's four, four and a half percent body fat I dropped in nine and a half weeks. 
with no additional exercise, no nothing. And the reason is that this product here, this pro-arginine, is, is an amino acid L-arginine. Now, years ago, yeah, E9 in the morning. Now, years ago, I mean years ago, 15 years ago, there was a, 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 a I think it was a microbiologist, Dirk Pearson, wrote a book uh, called Life Extension. And they talked about arginine. I think he dedicated a whole chapter to it about how it's somatotropin or growth hormone release and all these things. And I ordered the raw amino acid and it just tasted god awful. I mean, gave me the dry heaves and everything. And you have to take an empty stomach and it was a nightmare. This company, I flew up there, met with, hey Joanne, met with uh, Dr. Tripp, the, the uh, microbiologist who, who designed this and he explained the whole process to me. Not only does it cause the release of somatotropin, but it, caught, it helps in the uptake of it because you have to take it back into the cell. Now, at my age at 52, my release of somatotropin normally is about 95% lower than it was 20 years ago. And that's part of the problem of aging is there's a correlation between accelerated aging and lower growth hormone. That's why you're seeing more and more of these anti-aging clinics popping up. And what they're actually giving you is growth hormone, which is usually from a cadaver or even worse. So, yeah, I won't block her. Don't worry. So I'm doing these things and they have a product called a core green. It's just a, a, an alkaline and that's it right now. That's all I'm taking for the last, um, like I said, not, almost nine weeks now. And I want to get down to 6% because I want to get in the best shape of my life when I begin to do my, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm putting together a fitness program for people that are 35 plus. And the reason I'm doing that is, the reason I'm doing that is, because we, you have to train resistance training once you get fit enough. Now, a lot of you people on my, my Lean Body program, you're not ready to be doing that yet. Walk to your mailbox, move around, go swimming. Uh, but that's my goal is to get a fitness program for us more mature folks. No, I didn't say older, more mature folks to do without damaging our joints that, that are already in bad enough shape anyway. So I'm working on that. In the meantime, prep yourself with the Lean Body program. Let's get your body fat below 30%. That's critical. For you ladies, the numbers, I don't remember them specifically, but I know once you get above 30% body fat, your risk of ovarian and breast cancer goes up like 15-fold. If you're over 40%, it's it's like in the triple digits. It's like ridiculous. So we got to get you guys down. But yeah, it's super easy to take. It tastes like Kool-Aid. It tastes just like Kool-Aid, literally. My daughter tasted it. She goes, oh, yeah, that's kind of nice. But since it's a somatotropin releaser, she doesn't need any more somatotropin. She's growing fast enough as it is. Well, water is needed for the reaction, Diana. So you have to get water, a medium chain fat, and oxygen, and that, and those three have to be available for your body to take a fat cell and metabolize it as fuel. If any one of those elements isn't available, the body just physiologically is is, is hamstrung; it can't move forward. That's why I'll mix this in the morning before I go ride my bike, and I'll put in about a teaspoon of coconut oil. And I'm, I'm telling you, I'm getting, my wife actually doesn't want me to get any leaner. She likes me like 10%, but I, I said so I want to drop four more. Well, you know, that's a good question. I don't know if it's the estrogen in the, in the fat, but the, the, the part of the problem is that it may be, but part of the problem is adipose tissue actually change hormone expression in the body. It actually alters its release and its uptake. So the higher the fat, the more this confusion takes place is what the research that I've read. But that's the part of the problem. And it does all kind of other, it wreaks havoc throughout the body. Yeah, so when I, I'll drink that while I ride my bike, yeah. About a teaspoon. And again, if you've never done it before, you know, work your way up slowly, but I'll, I take the coconut oil and the E-Active when I ride. So tomorrow I'll take my daughter to school, come back, do a little bit of work, and then go, go do my, my ride. Because again, I, I want everything there to metabolize fat for fuel. Now, if you eat a huge, massive carbohydrate meal, and then you go, now we're playing with different factors now. The body's gonna burn that sugar because it's available. But what I'll do in the morning is I'll eat maybe a, a good protein meal, pretty, pretty not, not low carbs, but maybe four or five Wausau crackers, some eggs, and then do my coconut oil, my, my E-Active. Says coconut oil not good enough. I don't understand what that means. <clears throat> Again, I'm going off of peer reviewed research, uh, I think, I think Tiki sent me one research paper, but I mean, I, I need to read like six or seven of them in a row and then look at some anecdotal stuff and some research. Don't drink, yeah, don't drink cold water. I mean, our Ayurvedic doctor would say it squelches the digestive fire. Does it burn off coconut fat? It, 
other fat? I'm not following your question. Yeah, you have to burn fat. That's the only, th that's the only reason it's there for. Fat serves two, two purposes in the body. Insulation and uh, fuel. That's it. You said co co cocoa. No, coconut. Coconut is better than straight MCT oil. So there's MCT oil that you can go buy at a health food store. It'll say MCT on it, but it has no capric or linoleic acid in it, like coconut oil does. And they're saying that's the real, the real igniter inside the mitochondria, those two acids. And there's more research coming out, but you know this stuff is like groundbreaking as far as now they're giving it, recommending it to uh, Alzheimer's patients for uh, spastic tremors, and they're getting some real interesting results. And the body can metabolize it really well. And there's still some nutritionists that will say, oh, it's a saturated fat, but it's structured so differently. I'm going to have to put the book on my site, The Miracles of Coconut. I think it was by the PhD Jaffe. I'll have to get it on there. That's the book that I read that made me really look into it hard before I made that judgment call. And it's a shame, too, if they would just read past the, the, the jargon and really get into the research, it would, be so, it would be absolutely clear. So that's all I cook with. I probably go on my website. I have a huge jar from a from a farm. I think it's a local farm in the Midwest. It's pretty inexpensive. It's like I don't know, almost a gallon for like thirty bucks or something. You go to my website. I recommend. So here, let me give you that. I recommend the one on my site. And I have it under. I, I kept trying to find all these names to put my the products I recommend under my Prorogenine. It says tools. T O O L S. That's all they are. They're tools. It does, but just don't make the water icy cold. Because I ride in here, today it was like 93. So above 70 degrees, it will liquefy. So you'll see some oil floating on top. And what's really cool is when you ride and you drink it, the oil lubricates your mouth so you don't get dry mouth. It's pretty interesting. I'm, I'm starting to enjoy it. Coconut Miracle Bruce 5 C and yeah, no, uh, I don't know about that one, but that's another, that's another good uh, good book. That's not the one I'm referencing, though, but that's a good one. No, just I just I just I lose it. It's so hot in my kitchen. It's like seventy degrees in my house. I just pour it in the water bottle, seal it up, and get on my bike. It was a website time. <laughs> Sorry. You guys know how to take a screenshot, right? Hit the side button, and then you hit the bottom button, and you get the screenshot. So both programs are on my site. But the reason for my Periscope is I want you to tr use Tribe Cosmos. You'll get a recipe book, and you'll get free diabetic reports. You'll get more. Than if you just go off my site, you'll see my face there, and you'll you'll, you'll you'll have to your name and an email address. I wish they would take my picture off of there, but you'll see my face and my, and then just and you'll you get the reports in your email. You won't get spammed or nothing like that. So that's my website. And then for you guys who want Life Without Diabetes program, go to tribecosmo.com. Okay, great. Yeah, Amy, you should get diabetic reports and, and some recipes. Uh, the key is with recipes is, and there's a big misnomer out there. Oh, you can't have desserts. You can't, you can't have desserts. I'm just teaching you guys how to alter the ingredients and which ones matter the most. You have to get away from high loads. I don't care whether you're a diabetic or not. And again, I've worked with, I have, I have, have worked with people who were, had blood sugar over 800 and I worked with people who wanted to get their body fat down to 4% so they can compete in national physique shows. The principles remain the same, regardless of whether you're working with the person that's far to the right or far to the left. It doesn't matter. Once you stick with physiological principles and you do it consistently, your body will respond. Just keep in mind that if you've been a certain way physiologically for years, your body is not apt to change that quick because it's it's gotten used to that position. Um, yeah, I recommend the book. That's that's a That's a pretty good one. How do you burn fat when you eat fat? Ah, good question. Well, what you're eating is a fat that contains a medium chain triglyceride. So research tells us that to burn fat, you have to have those three things, water, uh, medium chain fat, and oxygen. Now, remember all the, the years we were, we were sold this line of garbage, oh, this is a fat-free food, and they would just throw in sugar and carbohydrates. That's part of the problem in, in this country. That's why diabetes is going up at 7%, 6% per year, every year. Because we're carbohydrate addicts, but our body needs fat for a number of things to make cholesterol, for insulation, but we have too much of it. So if you don't burn sugar in your system, guess what it does? Your liver converts it into a stored fuel, which we call fat. Nutritionless food, that's right. So we don't get satiated. So we just eat, eat, eat all these carbohydrates, 
And the body's saying, where's the nutrition? Now? Where's it? Just keep eating more. And you just keep getting bigger and bigger. I was uh, obese at 15. Yeah, I have no idea what the T-factor diet was. What I want you to do is, I don't want you to call this a Dr. George diet, or the, I want you to call it a, uh, it's, it's mine, because once you learn the principles, and you guys that are going on your fifth week are learning them, it's yours, because you can modify it any way you want, as long as it fits within those physiological guidelines. And it's not something that I'm happy about. I wish you could drink espresso and eat lemon meringue pie every day, well, and not have a, a negative effects, but it doesn't work that way. That's right. One friend of mine says, oh, what about your cheat days? Don't you ever cheat? Yeah, my idea of cheating is riding my bike to the gym and being able to, to to have a couple of hours where I could just do that. To me, that's a that's a, like a it's a it's a what did I say? It's like a present, you know. It's like a gift. To, it's a to me, being able to to spend you know twenty percent of my day focusing on my health is a is a privilege. It's not a it's not a it's not a chore. You won't overwork me. Just go on the program. Tomorrow's a, if you get on the program tonight and I get your email, I'll make sure you get into the call tomorrow. You know, if I have to send you a separate email. Yeah, that's it. Eat simple, live exciting. That's just it. <clears throat> if you, okay. Let's talk about this for a second. Thank you for all the hearts and the shares. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so, you absolutely can email me. You just go to my website. Just go here and just email me. I promise I'll respond back. So, you guys have all, how many of you heard of the ketone diet or, or, or ketone, uh, get into ketosis or Atkins and all that? How many of you heard of that on this scope so I can kind of know how to gauge my, my explanation? I take this one. I take this one right now and I take the, the E9, the active. This is more of a stimulant replacement instead of coffee because it's made with guarana, which is a little bit healthier for the body. You simply, oh, I'm so glad I can change your life. That's that's great. I don't know about no pro. I just, I have a message and, and I, and I want to get it out there to you guys because I lost my father at 56 and, and it was unnecessary because he was, he was told that there was nothing he could do. That's utter nonsense and to me it's malpractice. Thank you for joining us. I hope, I hope I don't overwhelm you. And I'm not angry at anyone on my scope. I just get really, um, I get really uh, vigorous. But let me answer. Yeah, well, you're, you know, you can change it at any time. It's all ultimately your choice. It's ultimately your choice. Well, I, I, I guess I get hyper. Thank you so much. So ketones. There was a lady on there. Oh, I've got this pill that'll get you into ketosis in three hours. Here's how you get into ketosis. Your body gets in a, a low carbohydrate phase. Your blood sugar drops. And your body says, we need fuel, so let me go burn fat for fuel. And you get into something called ketosis. Ketones, think of ketone bodies as the gas, the, the, uh, the, the exhaust coming out of your gas pipe when you burn gasoline. So ketone bodies are the byproduct of fat metabolism. That's, that's a reasonable explanation. So when that happens, you're burning fat for fuel. But in order for that process to happen easily, you have to have a medium chain fat available. You can still do it, but the cycle to make it happen without those is drastic and it's painful. I've been in the deep ketosis several times in my life and it was, it was a nightmare. It took me four or five days and five carbohydrates a day and it was just fanatical. I would never do it again. With the knowledge I have now, you can get into it reasonably uh, where well, your body will want to burn that pathway if you have those three things. Thank you. You're welcome. You're a pro at Paris. I'm no pro. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, did I answer everyone's question? Did I get everyone's question kind of answered? Uh, uh, chlorophyll, and your breath got better, right? Remember, there's a lot of junk coming out of you, Amy. And what's really interesting is, I don't know if I believe it fully, but we, we release a lot of fecal matter through our breath especially if we're constipated. One of the reasons people have halitosis or bad breath is they're constipated. They're actually backing up fecal matter. I know it sounds gross and people that smell really bad, sometimes it's just fecal matter coming out of their skin. Yeah, it's pretty nasty. Acetone, that's right. That's part of it. That's part of it. It's part of fat metabolism as well. It could be several things. <clears throat> but yeah, if you get someone who's constipated, they can really, really smell bad. Just, you know, feel bad for them and hopefully they'll get some help. Yeah, it's coming out, coming out of the body. 
And sometimes these things are processes your body just has to go through. Hydrate your proper, you know, when you when you get on my program, I teach you the, not only that your lean body mass support, but how much water you need. These arbitrary numbers are just ridiculous. Oh, drink eight ounces a day or six ounces a day or eat this much protein. Well, what's their lean body mass? Well, it doesn't matter. Well, of course it matters. That's what this is all about. What do you want? Yes? Once you have the numbers, now you have the factual data, then you can move forward reasonably. And you're not guessing at this or guessing at that. Especially when you get older, we don't have time for that business. You support the pillar shake that helps people get on ketosis. I don't, I don't support either of those. I support, because look, the whole idea is lowering your carbohydrate intake so you begin to burn fat for fuel. Yeah, there are some aids like uh, a medium chain fat. There's some things that can help that, but ultimately you have to have to lower it. I was hearing these people saying they can lower it in three hours. Okay, if you synthetically lower it that fast, what are you doing metabolically? You've got to pay the price somewhere. Are your kidneys getting stressed? Are your, is your liver getting stressed? Is it a, is it a burden on your GI tract? Because you're, you're messing with your accelerating, accelerating physiology in a way that's not physiologically normal. You've got to pay the price somewhere. And what if someone like Amy or something already has renal problems or kidney problems and she does something like that? And now one of her kidneys shuts down. I mean, come on, come on. We're talking long term. This isn't a this isn't a drag race. This is a marathon. Once you learn these principles that I'm teaching you, it becomes fundamentally easier, and it comes out just a simple way. There's no crazy kind of stuff. Yeah, the core greens is just. Let, let me get it. Hold on. So this company has several products. I'm only endorsing like four. I think they have like 15 products. This is the other one that I'm endorsing, this Core Greens. And you can get greens all over the place. They have them. I just drink a, a green drink. What I'll do is I'll put, uh, I'll put a little scoop of this if I make a protein shake or something to keep you more alkaline. That makes perfect sense. So I'm just taking this, the Pro Arginine, and the E9. That's like my staple right now. Will I ever add anything to it? I don't know. I don't like to try too many things because I want to know what works. Um, what do I suggest? If I had to pick one of those, it would be this one. If I had to pick one. If I had to pick two, it would probably be... <sighs> See, I eat a lot of greens. So if you if you eat a lot of greens already, maybe you can you know save a few bucks and surpass the core greens and just get on the E-Active. Because I'm telling you... I got up at six this morning. I had I had a blast. I washed my car. I w washed my daughter's clothes. I, I got everything ready. The ho house is clean. So scope or or the green pills, core green scoop of the pill. Um, I like the scoop because you get more. The, the pills are more accurate. I have both. So my wife took pills. No, my wife. I think my wife took this with well, a can of this with her when she went to Japan. But they're they're both good. Just you get more with the with the um, with the can. I take, so I take this one like first thing in the morning, because remember this has arginine in it as well. Okay. Yeah, glutamine as well. Then I'll take this one, or after I finish the scope, I'll have mine because it's it's only going to be a little before nine. I'll take this one, then I'll take this one in a protein shake at lunchtime when I come back from my bike ride. How do you know you need a probiotic? I'm watching this while eating my third slice of pizza. Well, don't, don't, you don't have to apologize to me, but if you're not getting what you want, the only person you have to pay any type of, uh, uh, you know, respect to is one person in the mirror. What is my input on gastric bypass? I think it's, if you do it without a plan, you may be lighter, but you may not be any healthier. That's my concern. And there's a real, a real good guy, Dr. Wong, who's a bar bariatric surgeon, you know, I think he would agree with that statement. Because part of the problem is if you don't change your lifestyle just by reducing physically your limitations on how much you can consume, you're no better off. You're still eating the same poor quality meals. And I also, in my program, I also deal with the emotional component. If you're a, uh, you know, if you're obese or you're a chronic health problems, you've got some emotional issues that need to be resolved. And I'm not a psychiatrist or a psychologist, but there's some real simple steps you can do to, to acknowledge those. And I have, I think my second week, I think, yeah, I think the second week I gave a little simple audio and I took the training years ago and it helped. You know, seven out of ten people have been abused in their lifetime. I was abused as, you know, as a ten, I think I was eight years old, sexually abused. Just common. It depends on what you make that mean as you get older. Just pass through your go-go rice girl.
Oh, thank you. Thank you. Protein shake is after you exercise and if you haven't met your lean body mass requirements. <clears throat> Belly fat is just a storage place. And that's also a, a point where cortisol deposits adipose tissue. It's bad news. And you've got to get your body to burn that. You can't melt it away. You can't wrap it away. Uh, you can liposuction away, but your skin will drag, hang off of you like, like strings. You've got to give your body a chance, and you have to put it in its, its physiological element in order for it to take that fuel, because it's just fuel. It's metabolically inactive fuel, and burn it. Yeah, you should have gotten the, the, the email already. If, if those of you that are supposed to be getting an uh, email regarding the conference call tomorrow, if you haven't gotten an email me, you should have it already. I think uh, Andrea set that up already. Same numbers. Every, yeah, everything is the same. We might have, the next week we might have to go to a bigger a bigger platform because I think I'm running out of space on this one. But that's a good thing. What would you suggest for getting abs quickly though? Yeah, your abs are probably there, but they're just covered in fat. You got to get the body to burn the fat. <clears throat> I don't recommend crunches because they put the spine in, the, in a poor bio, uh, biomechanical posture. But if you uh, get lean, the abs will come out. Oh, I think kettleballs are absolutely ridiculous. The chance of injury is so high. Kettleballs were around in the 16th century. They were around in the 16th century because there was no other physical uh, uh, workout equipment around. That's all they had was kettleballs. So all they do is cause extension trauma to the joints. I don't care for them, and I'll debate that with anyone. I think one of the arguments they have is, well, if you train the person right, they can't get hurt. Well, in the interim, what do they do? They injure themselves until they learn how to do it, and it's just not worth it. And I feel the same way about running bleachers. All you need to do is one slip, and it happened right down here. Guy fractured his tibia. All you have to do is slip one time, and you're done. Hold up the E3, or E9. Oh, e there it is. Yeah, this is probably one of the only other, uh, the only stimulants I've ever taken where if I drink caffeine or coffee, my wife knows. And I haven't had any caffeine beverage in probably mm, six, uh, seven days because I ran out of this for about seven days. It's not my product. It's on my website, and I'm endorsing the company because I believe in their product. You can purchase it right through my website. And believe me, guys, I you know I probably since I've been on Periscope, I've probably gotten eight products to review. This is the only one that I've endorsed. Yeah, if you want to get information on my Life Without Diabetes program, you go to tribe, tribecosmo.com, and you get a free recipe book and you get free uh, diabetes reports. Okay. And if you want the information on the Life Without Diabetes or my blog, raw chocolates, all this stuff, go to uh, georgecosmetics.com. Oh, so this gives you Twitters. I'm not sure what that means. Start getting tone, not not just him. Not sure what that means either. Make the webinar call in the end. If you can't make the call, the call will be recorded, and it'll, it'll, you'll get an email midweek, usually the next day or two. Uh, the goal is for you guys to have it the next morning, and you'll have all the recordings. So it sits in a drive out there you guys can access that are on the program. So if you're in week four, you can go back to week three, two, and one, but you can't go forward. That's the... the um, I guess my my key with this plan is just give you enough, not throw the whole thing at you at once. Cost of, cost of the program is, is $497, but I think there's a 25% uh, coupon that we just ran until, month, until I think it's 70, for 72 hours. Well, this one is pretty good. It's not the same as caffeine and espresso. Bye-bye. Again, it'll just give you the fundamentals, and then you'll and then by your fifth or sixth week, you'll be able to you'll be able to morph it into your program. And then when it, at the end of twelve weeks, you'll it'll be your program. But then you'll also be in the uh, the Facebook closed group, so you're going to get support on after the through during the program and on through it. It's a fun group. I think we've got sixteen or seventeen or eighteen people, and my goal is to limit it to ten for the first twelve weeks for me to beta test it out. But I've gotten so much interest, so I just opened it up to. I think we have a max we can get is 25, and I think we're getting close to that number now. But it's fun stuff, and you guys will do fun. It's not demanding. There's no exercise demands on my program. There's no dieting demands. You eat five times a day. Great insight. I'm following you. Thank you so much. I love it. Amy is, you know, Amy, you guys follow her. She's, um, 
she she's obese, but she's chopping it down the size, and uh, she just does amazing sculpting. She's very open, and that's very healing for her. Some people are very private with their with their obesity or their health problems, and I think part of the the healing to get through that is to be very open with it. Yeah, here I've got this problem, but here I'm doing something about it. That's right. And just it, you know, change is always uncomfortable. Absolutely, will help with a fatty liver. Asif, who just left, was denied life insurance, from what I understand. Follow my program tips. Within eight weeks, went back and, and has a pristine lab work. I think his brother's a doctor. I'm not sure what type, but they were just flabbergasted. Get facts, not hype. That's right. Again, I teach this. My book. Oh, my book is available for print on uh, on Amazon, so you can get the print version of this, and it's. 24 bucks, so it's $15 cheaper than this because this the company I had before was charging me so much to make it. But you can get the print version of this book, you can also get the e version of this book, and it's all reformatted. They did a beautiful job I mean, really beautiful job. It's an easy read. Uh, when I when I made this book, it was originally 331 pages, now it's 119. It's all that you need to get you started. Pre diabetic, type one. What is your background? Good question. Uh, let me answer that, and then, I'll, and then I'll wrap this scope up. I've got to read my daughter's story. Oh, thank you. It's really not my philosophy. These principles are out there. I mean, I built this work on giants like Deepak Chopra, uh, Bernard Jensen, um, oh, geez, Andrew Weil, uh, Dr. Atkins. I mean, these are, the, these are the real giants. I just picked from them and put it together in a puzzle that made, made sense to me, and then I applied it to my life. And I talk about my story in my book about losing my father, losing my two uncles. I almost lost my life in a car accident at 19. My, my, my other uncle, who was an orthopedic surgeon, said nothing's wrong with me, but I lost my bowel and bladder function. And I sought out a doctor of chiropractic, and within just a few visits, got my bowel and bladder function back and changed my life. And that's what I've been practicing ever since. And I just got into this medicine 15 years ago with my father passing, and uh, I now teach I'm the only chiropractor that I'm aware of that's licensed by the board to teach diabetic education. So I teach it to doctors for their continued education hours. I started that in, I want to say, May of this year. Do I know Dr. Oz? No, I don't. I don't know him at all. And I'm certain he doesn't know me. <laughs> I got week two email, but no phone email. Were you on the week one? It's the same phone number. But email me if you need to get it. I'll make sure that uh, Andrea only came on board like four days ago. I'll make sure she puts that in. So you'll, you'll, get, you'll get everything that you need from here on out. But make sure you get it. But it's the same number, freeconferencecall.com. But just go back to week one and it's right there. If you don't get it, email me. I promise I'll get it to you. Oh, that's kind of you. I don't know about better. You have to remember, when you get a national, well, he's got a global presence. He has sponsors and he has to kowtow to probably them to a certain degree. Um, I don't I have a TV. I haven't had a TV in eight years because um, I it just I don't have the time to spend to, 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 for that kind of stuff. Thank you so much. Okay, so email me drcosmo@gmail.com. If you go to my my uh, Periscope profile, my email is the last thing. If you guys don't get anything, email me directly. I take full responsibility. The buck stops with me. Any program, a book that you get, any problems, I'll make it right. I don't want anything being a barrier for you guys moving forward. I don't want you to say, oh, I didn't get you know, this book or I didn't get this thing camera. I'll fix it. I want the responsibility to rest with you. But my responsibility is you have the tools to make a difference in your life. And that's crucial. And just remember. You have to pick something bigger than yourself. It's not about looking better than bathing the suit. It's not about all this, this va vanity type of stuff. It's about being around for your family, uh, being around for your grandkids. And I'm going to teach you these tools, not only to help yourself, but to help them. Because if you're obese and you have health problems, they're going to be eating out of your refrigerator and your cupboards. Guess what, guys? They're going to get the same things you got. So you need to re retool your mind. Think about what you're doing for the people around you. If you really care, make it, you know, make a change for them. It's got to be bigger than you. A good friend of mine, my, my, my coach, one of my coaches, told me something a long time ago that makes sense. He said, in life, we're going to do things for two reasons, love or fear. If you don't have those two emotions involved, you'll never get traction. Pa what, what I think of the paleo, I, first of all, I don't like the la second word because I don't believe in diets. I think they're roads to failure. 
And if they follow the physiological principles that we're forced to as homeo sapiens, then it's, then it's a good thing. You have to follow certain fundamental principles. You can't cheat these principles. It's just, if you can, I'm all ears. I'm all ears. Like, like, my, like I get teased. Uh, it's a reality that we're forced to accept. And I don't like any of these, I don't say any of these things with any type of glee or happiness. Okay, I'm going to go read to my daughter, guys. Thank you so much for following me. Anything at all, email me. Thank you for your, all your love and follows. Uh, really appreciate it. I'll be on again tomorrow night at 8 p.m. How many types of diabetes are there? There's one, two, there's 1 1.5, there's pre-diabetes, there's metabolic syndrome. What about the keto diet? If it meets my principles. If it meets the principles that, that are physiological realities. Okay, okay. Thanks, guys. Thank you.